Hi everyone, we're gonna do a quick salad for you. Um, we're just washing the cabbage here. Have a red onion, a couple of carrots. We got uh, yellow pepper, red pepper, Mexican by the way, green. Two tomatoes. Okay, uh, we have here a cucumber, cube. We have pickled garlic, clove. Um, some olive here. We possibly will put some French dressing on. I may or not. Okay. So let's go and do it. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to peel the carrots. We love carrots, don't we? We all love carrots. Fantastic veggie. You can eat them raw, you can eat them, you can boil them, do whatever you like with them. When you're peeling them using this sort of peeler, make sure you don't cut your hand because they tend to be sharp. You know, watch your hand, how you do this stuff, okay? Make sure you always watch out, okay? Because the blades tend to be quite sharp. Please, please make sure you use your, look out for your fingers. Okay, so you've done that. Right, so we're gonna do cabbage, sorry, um, iceberg lettuce, we'll, we'll keep them big pieces, rather than a small piece, okay? So we're just going to go around and cut them into a big, like pieces like this, okay? Let's go around. Don't do too many sides, if you're going to keep it quite large piece. That will do. Put them into our bowl. There we go. And when you're doing that sort of hand of thing, make sure you wash your hands, which my hands are very clean indeed. Right, the next thing, we're gonna take the tomatoes and we're gonna do them in cut them sort of circular motion. Okay, alright, so we are going to cut them in four pieces. Alright, chop them in there. Don't worry if it's on this surface is very clean. Alright, so we are going to just chip it in there like that. There you go. Wonderful, get the other one in there. No. This one seems to doesn't want to be cut, okay? So there we go. It doesn't matter how you cut, it just looks good. The object is the eyes. It's not the eating, is an art of watching. So when you make something, if it looks good, it should taste good. And that's what I feel. You know, whenever you're doing something, if it looks good, it should taste good. Simple as that. Right, the next bit, what we do, we get the onions out, and we're gonna cut in also a square, a round shape, okay? Make sure you mind your fingers when you're doing this. Right, so now what will I do? I'll square the cut them twice like that and you just break them in half when you put in there, just break them up like this. Yeah. Right there we go. Obviously it's gonna go all over the place, so don't worry about it. So eating and cooking 
It's a creation itself. It's an art. Don't be embarrassed how you keep cutting it or pieces. It doesn't matter. End of the day, they're all going to go inside your tummy. So then Right, there we are, putting the yellow Pepsi gum in there. Now let's cut the, the green Pepsi gum up. Look, don't worry, you know what I said before, you don't have to worry about any any size. So make sure you know, it looks good. You don't have to think about a square shape or this shape or that shape. Don't worry about it at all. You know, just pull them in nicely like that and let's put a red one in and you'll wash the colors red and yellow one or if you go on orange type of Pepsi gum or green pepper that will give you the look look at look at look at look at the color of this the red has changed the color completely let's put a bit more red in there yeah, now can put a bit more red in there because it just it it's just takes makes a whole new meaning of salad making when you put that in there. All right, look at that. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay. Right, ah, uh, we got hold of uh, these. These are these are not your typical lemon. You're not gonna get it here the, unless you go to a Bangladeshi Kashmir curry or Asian Kashmir curry. You may get it. These are le these lemon are especially import from Bangladesh or India or you know Eastern curry. Their fragrance is unbelievable. So we're gonna add that to that. Uh, there's no way you'll find an English supermarket or big supermarket. These are especially Asian supermarkets you can get hold of. Bangladeshi ones, supermarkets, if you look, live close to any of those, you'll get it. So we are going to put this. This will give you, you add a tangy, a justy, a fragrance is unbelievable. Now these, you know, a small size lemon like this will cost you about... You're looking at about three pound fifty, four quid for this lemon. They're not cheap. They're very, very expensive. Uh, Sometimes on a high, low season, you can get it for a pound or probably more. But on normally, they're very expensive. All right. So we are going. To, we've done it. Uh, we're gonna have this in there. Put that in there. That gives you the zesty feeling. All right. So we all done that. Next thing, let's. Get the carrots in. Okay. Now you can split the carrot in half or leave them as it is. I like to leave them as it is. Now I will do it. I'm just tasting a bit of carrots here. They look good, tasty. See, it makes all the difference. When you stick the carrots in, it makes all the difference. All the colors and everything comes out. You know, unbelievable colors, carrots. Right. Make sure you always mind your fingers when you're cutting or chopping, by the way, just you know. Okay, so. We've done all that, so we're gonna make it right. There we are. I'm gonna cut them in four pieces, by the way, like that. Stick them in there, like this. One, two. There we go. It's all done. 
Yeah, sometimes they will not may not separate, but just use your fingers. There we go. That's what they're for. There we go. Okay. Now, if they don't come out, just use your old fingers. Fingers are made for this sort of job. Okay, let's go. There we go. I am thinking of putting some green chilies, but I'm not sure if they like it. The so people who um, they may not like it. So we are going to stay away from putting green chilies. Also thinking about putting some coriander, but but this may not suit this type of chili. Try that. Right. Oh, we are going to put some garlic. These are pickled garlic. Now I think this this uh, these uh, brands are Turkish, so you can get a pickled garlic. Use the large one, small one, whatever you have got around. Or you can use you can put the real garlic in. These are the the raw garlics. Now got some raw garlics. Yeah, the pickled garlics, right? So we're gonna put the both in just to get the little extra taste. Okay, let's put the that will be garlicky. Okay, put. Put the real one in and let's get them in there it becomes much more garlicky there you go and these this one I'm calling uh, pickle, pickle garlic you don't need to put any salt in there because these you know the garlic pickle garlic already contains salt so that will give you the, the salt we take in there. there you go that's all done now we're going to get now we are going to put some olive let's cut some olive out and got some olive here okay so we have olives here so the best thing to do I was going to put them whole but I decided be better if we just cut a bit of olive in there, cut them in small pieces, not small pieces, cut them in half. Right, so that way you get much more. There we go. That will I'll probably put one or two more. Hold on. Let's put a couple more. Right, so I, I just, I'm just going to wash my hands properly. There you go, even more wash. Actually, my hands are very clean. So, right. Wash them up properly. There you go. Right, okay, so we've done that. They are really clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to toss it slowly, not destroying the whole fabrics of my salad. Just do a little toss, and I'm going to put my hand in there and just mix it up. Okay, mix it all in nice and easy. Don't worry about the ones it's falling apart. Don't worry about that. It's gonna happen, all right. Now that's that's a nature of cooking, and that's now I've I've decided I'm going to put some sweet corns. Okay, so are we going to tip some sweet corn in there as well? That will give more exciting to your salad. You'll excite the salad up, waken up the salad, okay? So, next thing we'll do, we just add them together again because I just added some sweet corns. All right, okay. Okay, everyone, there we go. Let's see our, our final mixed, mixed salad. It's ideal for parties or you have a right everyone thank you another there we go ladies and gentlemen we 
Look at how lovely and tasty it looks. Absolutely brilliant. Go and try that. Make that home when you have a party in, uh, in the summertime or winter time, whatever, if you get a friend gathering. Make one of them and look at the color. Look at how exciting and colorful it looks. It will taste great. Uh, you could add any dressing if you like. You could put some olive oil if you want to put some olive oil. But I think you just leave as it is and serve it to your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video and all of my video. I hope you like this video. Please make sure you click like and subscribe button. Once again, thank you so much.